I'm joined now by Jerry Brady, the chairman of Cavan County Board. The forthcoming Ulster Championship, the big game, Cavan and Armagh, and the sun shining here as reco recorded here prior to the championship. It always brings a great excitement, and once again, the, the build-up, once the grass starts growing, the sun is shining, Jerry, and everything's revving up for the championship. Yeah, it's a fantastic time of the year, so it is. I can see the pitch is beginning to get into great shape at the moment. We spent a bit of money getting it right and making sure it's looking uh, spectacular for the, 20, for the 29th. And uh, we're certain there's going to be a fantastic atmosphere, a fantastic crowd, and really encourage the Cavan supporters to come out and be that 16th man on the day, because this is a fantastic stadium. When we've got a full house, there's nothing like it anywhere in the country. It's run, of course, under the auspices of the Ulster Council, but you as County Board Chairman, uh, you'll be a busy man, and of course, tickets have to be dispatched here and uh, all that sort of thing. What does the Chairman have to get involved in? Because uh, I'm sure you'll be a very busy man in the build-up to the game. Well, as it gets closer to the game, maybe we don't be as busy as maybe early on. It's busy during the weeks prior to it for in relation to the tickets, and Liam is busy up in the, in the office there as, as the weeks progress. But as you get closer on the day, like our... Uh, Brownsmen here are doing a fantastic job, and then we've got Kieran Callaghan, who organises all the stewards and organises really what happens on the day. We also have Ulster Council stewards come in and assist our own stewards. So look at Kieran and the guys have it down to a very fine art. Our head stewards are fantastic here, and it's great that when we have a big game here, and which we've had over the last number of years, that. On the Monday or Tuesday after the game, visiting supporters actually ring or send an email in to Liam who's complimenting how they were looked after. And their first point of contact is the gate people, the ticket people and the stewards. And the, the feedback has been hugely positive and really, really encouraging. And that's why we've managed to get uh, Ulster semi-finals in the last number of years, the international rules game and, and big matches here because the guys do a fantastic job. And is it amazing that the way all the stewards are rounded up on the day and the commitment that they give year in and year out, it's part and parcel of the ethos of the GA, isn't it? That community ethos and getting people involved and they yeah. deliver on the day, Jerry. The GA is all about volunteering. It's all about you know the under six coach that goes out on a Saturday or a Tuesday or Wednesday to his local club. From that to the senior coaches that go to their local clubs, to the stewards that come in and give their time here. It's all about volunteering and nobody is doing it to get anything back in return. They do it because they enjoy it, because they're great community people and they're great GA people and the GA is a fantastic family and they're renowned for that down through the years and thank God that, that ethos is continuing on and hopefully will for many years to come. We're looking forward to a big crowd here and a great day in Ramsey Park, of course. As chairman, how would you evaluate the challenge going to be posed by Armagh? Look at this championship. Like what happened in the league, we had a fantastic win against them here in the league earlier in the year. That counts for nothing now. This is championship. It's the bite of the championship. It's the, the passion and the pride in, in the jersey when it comes to championship time. Armagh are going to be a difficult opponent on the day, but I think Terry will have the guys in good shape and they will be really motivated and up for it. So I think that I'm looking forward to a fine performance and, and a victory here on, on the 29th. So I'm in Kingsburn, Berkeley Park. Of course, as a player yourself in Wittgauna and over the years you've won and lost games. They, they lost in Croke Park, but it was a learning curve, I suppose. And would you suggest, Jerry, that they, they will learn? from that experience? Absolutely. I, I think the guys have to put a lot of work into video analysis since that game. And that's you know that game in Crow Park has worked five ordinary matches in, in, in other pitches. Like the you know the, the atmosphere, the space, the experience of playing in such a such a fantastic stadium. And look we made we made childish errors at times. We carried the ball into possession and got lost into the tackle sorry and got and lost possession so we did it on numerous occasions. And the, the lads will learn from that and it's it's great for Terry and the management to have that type of work that they can bring to the, them and show them video clips and where the mistakes were made and they will learn from it and they will progress from it and that's the level we've got to be playing at and we're looking forward to next year in the National League to be playing at that level and that the guys will improve on a regular basis game on game on game you know Jerry Brady chairman of Cavan County Board thanks very much for joining us thanks Sean